The island of Bernere is a speck on the map of Britain, miles from the mainland and a world away from the royal palaces of our new king. Here the people are crofters, working together as a community to farm the land and the livestock. It's a way of life that has passed from generation to generation. And as a prince, it was a haven where Charles came to live and work among the people. The king stayed with Gloria and her husband, Don Alec MacKillop, known locally to everyone as Splash. A generation on, and Gloria's husband, Splash, has passed away. But she welcomed me back with the same enthusiasm as before. I can't believe this. It's so lovely to see you again. You know, it's been 30 years. Can you believe that? No, no, I can't. One of the things I that I was interested in was that he wanted to not just stay with you and Splash, he wanted to meet the people of Burnery, yes. didn't he? Yes. Were you surprised by that? Not at all. I had this sense that this is... that he had this genuine interest in and concern for the people that lived here. What were the difficulties uh, that would be part of their lives. Charles fully participated in island life, working alongside crofters, digging up potatoes... Uh, does the back of the world have got this? <laughs> ..and dipping sheep. He told me that having a go was the only way to discover what life on Bernere was really like. I wanted to, to find out you know, about the, the whole way of life, the crofting existence and what part-time farming actually involved. Mm. Because when all is said and done, I still believe that people like those who live here and in many of the other communities in the uplands and in the remoter areas of this country are, to all intents and purposes, the backbone of this country. He was aware, I'm sure, of the frailty of it all for those of us who have been living here and have been involved with it <clears throat> and sought to do uh, whatever he could to support what he found here. I'm one of those sort of people who takes even apparently honorific titles rather seriously. And one of the titles I have always liked is, is, is the Lord of the Isles. Partly because I'm an incurable romantic. And uh, it is a marvelously romantic title. Also because I mean, I, I um, always have had a soft spot for Scotland. But he won't be Lord of the Isles anymore, now he is king. <laughs> but he came in as Lord of the Isles <laughs> and shared his life with us. Did you have any inkling about just how much he needed this, this short time he was with you? It was just wonderful to see him. We weren't uh, intruding in any way, but as we came and went down the road, thoroughly enjoying what he was seeing. It's easy to see why Charles was keen to come to this island and live among the people here. To understand our new king, we need to understand the importance to him of maintaining traditions and preserving a way of life that's existed here on the island of Bernary for generations. For him, these islands and these communities are not mere outliers, but rather important cornerstones of his kingdom. Selena Scott, ITV News, on the island of Bernere in the Outer Hebrides.